Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks again for dropping by. In this video, I'm going to go through how to create a bulleted list in InDesign so that your InDesign documents will always be satisfyingly organized. Remember that InDesign can essentially be used one of two ways. First, you can either set your styles locally. In the second, you can create variables that format your text in a faster and more precise way. These variables are called paragraph style and character style. I do have a video tutorial that runs through this too, and the link is in the description. Please check it out. And in this video, we will look at both ways to create a bulleted list. By the way, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post videos like this. All right, with that out of the way, let's jump in. Alright, so now we are in InDesign and this would be the sample document that we're going to work with today in this tutorial. So first is how to create a bulleted list in InDesign through local formatting. We will now go through how to transform text into a bulleted list, edit the bullets indentation value, and change the bulleted list used by InDesign. So first is tr transform text into a bulleted list. For example, I have this one here. I want this to be in a bullet style. So I'll, all you have to do is select the text that you want to change into a bulleted list. Now look into your control bar over here, at the top of your screen. Make sure that the icon on the left, this, with the paragraph symbol is switched on. And if it isn't, just click on it. Now click on the bullet list symbol over here to transform the text into a list so just click on that one and it will transform into a list okay next is to edit the bullets indentation values so once you've turned text into a bulleted list you have to set the distance between the bullet and the text itself so keep the bulleted list selected and then edit the values you see in the control this one this should be the one that you're going to use so the first value shows the text indentation values in inches you can also do it in millimeters calculated from the text box margin so if you go up it will move right away okay so just go up and down however you prefer it so the second value shows how far the bullet is from the text that's why this value is negative so if you go over here there that's to show how far the bullet is from the text so you can just move it like this maybe there we go and now we have to change the bulleted list used by InDesign. And I've already have a pre-formatted one earlier. So once you've created the bulleted list and set the distance between the bullets and the text, it's time to change the list's symbol. So keep the bulleted list selected. And on this upper right-hand corner, you will see these three horizontal lines. Just click on this one and then go to bullets and numbering. In the window that will open, click on add to edit the icon used by InDesign and from here you can just choose whatever icon that you want or you can also use whatever font family that has a good very good icon so for example with this I can choose whatever bullet list image that I want so for example I want to choose let's say this red dot or circle over here all you have to do is click add and then hit ok now if you set the preview or enable the preview this one is over here and just click on that one and you will see it will change and then just hit ok if you want that I'll just cancel it for now because I want it to be pop. so why use a style to create a bulleted list. If you don't use paragraph and character styles, you are barely getting 10% out of your InDesign. Styles allow you to set the same formatting to different parts of your document with just one click. Swiftly edit the formatting anywhere in your document. So not using them means wasting a lot of time and your layout will be inconsistent. So how to create a bulleted list using a paragraph style? First is using the option redefine style and using the tab bullets and numbering but not the bullets and numbering that we used earlier. We will be using the paragraph style over here. So if you click on this paragraph style, we will be using the redefine style, which will also help us save any style settings that might have applied locally. Before editing the bulleted list style, I had already set the paragraph style to the bulleted list called P bulleted text. So if I change this one to different font size, say 11, this will have like a plus sign over here. If I wanted this settings, I will just click here and then redefine style 
style. So if I double click on this P booted list and go to basic character formats, it's now 11 instead of 10. So just click OK there. So from now on, anytime you assign P bulleted text, this one to a paragraph, you will create a list like the one we just did in the beginning of this video. So like the one here. Say for example, I want this list to be a bulleted list as well. So all you have to do is click on that and then apply the bullet list. Just click on the P bulleted text that you created before and it will automatically change everything here. You can also use use the tab bullets and numbering from here. So if you have a little more experience in InDesign and you want to fully create the bulleted list through paragraph style, which is this one paragraph styles that we just used, you can find everything you need in the bullets and numbering tab of the paragraph style windows. So it's the same format as before, it's the same window as before. You can just add here and then change everything and there you can use it and then hit OK. All right. For creating this in paragraph style, all you have to do is go here that says create new style, this plus icon, and then double click on that one and then change the style name over here and all you have to do is format everything if you want a different uh, character style and uh, format also the indents and the spacing you can also format all your um, bullet icons and just use it over here to any of your paragraph styles and that's about it congratulations you now know everything you need to create a bulleted list in InDesign be it through styles or local formatting I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit more about this amazing software Thanks for watching and please give this a thumbs up if you find this useful and inspiring. I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. And please don't forget to smash that subscribe button now if you haven't done it already. Keep watching and keep learning. I'll see you next time. Bye!